I hope you're having a really great day. This is Shana and I um, coming at you with a road trip vlog, I guess. I have to go and spend the night at the clinic, sleep apnea clinic, to see if it's for them to do a study on me to see if I have sleep apnea. I have a lot of symptoms. And I, this is a long time coming. I, I should have pushed for this a long time ago, but I figured, you know, sometimes when you when you think something is wrong with you, you need to to push sometimes if you have like a, a, a doctor that is not, you know, that shuffles his feet, feet a lot or her feet. Sometimes you have to push that issue, but um, I'm, you know, no matter how much I sleep, I'm tired. I mean, I walk at least five days a week now, regularly. I get about 10,000 or up to, I don't know, I've done up to 17,000 steps of, of, in one day. Um, so, why am I still sleeping? You know, why am I still fatigued all the time? Why am I, my brain, why do I have brain fog? You know, so, this study will, I guess, let them know whether I have sleep apnea or not. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be able to go to sleep uh, with no privacy, basically. But, um, I'm going to try to do what I can do, you know, because, you know, the sleep apnea, if you have it, it can make your heart work harder. You know, and I want to live, like I said before, a good, long, good quality life for the rest of my life. So whatever I have to do, I'm doing it. So come join me on this little trip here. I got I got to drive for a good piece, but I got to make a run some errands first. <sighs> got to go to New Orleans. I don't know my way around New Orleans that well. My sister does though, but she's not here. So, i do what I gotta do. Alright, thanks for joining me. Let go.
Hey guys, how you doing? I made it. I made it to the um, VA hospital and take a look at this parking deck. It's hardly anybody in here on the first level. So I have to. Um, <laughs> I need to find the sleep center. I got my bag. My bag. I got my. Uh, Everything I need, my charges for my phone. Anyway, uh, I'll try to video a little bit of the inside of the center for y'all. All right, bye bye. Gonna remind you of an airplane. Hey, I'm here too early. Too early. I guess I'll eat my chicken salad sandwich then. Alright. This should be 8.23. Look at my view. It's a little high up in the air, but... It's about 12 feet up. Alright. The guard's still at the desk over here. I couldn't check in or the kiosks. I guess they're still working on the building because several service personnel people in here. So, this is a very comfortable seat. I'm sitting on something like this. Awesome. Okay, I'll let you know what my room looks like. Because I made sure I was like, am I going to be in a room full of people? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. I was like, you have your own room. I'm wondering if I have my own bathroom, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try this again. My camera just went off on me. Okay, I got a bed, nightstand. And this is where they're going to be connecting me to leads and stuff. But she's going to be back in here in a minute. They gotta do EKG on me and everything, but here's my bathroom. And the thing about that is, I will have to let them know whenever I had to use bathroom. And I was like, man, so they can unhook the leads from me. Um, yeah. So if I have to go to the bathroom two or three times, they're gonna have to come in and have to call for the young lady. <laughs> And I am not feeling that. But you do what you gotta do, you know, because this can affect my heart. It can affect the way I think. Um, and everything. So if I have sleep apnea, I want to know about it and I want to do what I can to, to treat it. Hopefully the exercise, if I do have it, the exercise is doing something to help me too. So I gotta get get myself prepared for bed. I will talk to y'all in the morning. She said it might be over as early as 6 a.m. Well, 5 a.m. and then I could be out as early as 6 a.m. So I'm very happy about that. And I was gonna ask her about Wi-Fi. You know, Wi-Fi was like, how am I supposed to go to sleep without any Wi-Fi? <laughs> My sister said, they, they probably, you know, I said, they don't have any Wi-Fi. And then she said, well, they probably want you to sleep. I said, there is not one without the other. <laughs> so anyway, I'll let y'all know how it went. Okay? Love you. Now, tell me. What do I look like? Oh, this is crazy. How am I supposed to sleep with this crap on? They even put it in my hair, y'all, and I had just twisted my hair today, and she wiped it down with alcohol wipes. My hair to dry it out so they can put the make the lead stick in my head. Got one behind my ear on each side. Got look at this. Falls asleep. Yeah, look at this. 
Then I got got one here, one here on my chest. Got a, one wrap here, and I got another wrap there. Then I got this on my finger. Look at this. on each leg, each leg. How, how, how am I supposed to play? Hey, okay New Orleans, it's been real, it's been good. I ain't gonna say it's been real good. I can't wait to get back home, I got me a little drive to go. His, what time is it? Doggone clock reset in the car, so. It says 12.03 a.m., that's a lie. 5.55 in the morning, so I'll be able to beat this traffic and hopefully have a pleasant ride. I just have to use my glasses at night. <laughs> um, oh, there's something I didn't tell you about. They put leads in my head. To check my brain waves and they put this thick paste in there i think i got it all out man you know and i had just twisted my hair before i got here and i put oils in it and and they got the oils out they used the alcohol wipe get the oils out i was like i should have worn a puff something told me to wear a puff then they put this thick thick paste it looked kind of like that pasty glue yeah you remember when you were a kid, pasty, I guess I'm remembering right, but it's like a pasty glue. So I had to get all that junk out of my head. I don't even know if I got it all out. I'm probably going to have to wash my hair. Okay, can someone tell me what the name of this tree is? I've heard that it's grandfather's beard or somebody's beard. It's the mail person delivering the mail. Hey. Well, anyway, if anybody knows what this is, let me know. I'm going to look it up to myself. Hey. I made it. I made it back safe and sound. I yawned all the way home. Then I get home. Oh, excuse me. I yawn all the way home, and then I get home, and then I'm wide awake. So I started uh, trying to catch up on my videos, and I was like, I gotta go walk, and then I got tired again. <laughs> it's funny how that works, huh? So, I mean, it is freezing. It was frost on the ground when I got back. And uh, I'm going to just do a couple of laps. I've been doing my all of my walking outside um, recently. But uh, I think I might have to get on the treadmill today because uh, it's cold. I don't like the cold. <laughs> all right, then. Maybe I'll wake up once I start getting moving and getting warmed up. But until then, till my next video, I want you to have a, a great, great day and know that I love you. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.